Navi, FaZe, and Big. And they are all here to play. Navi and FaZe on Mirage. It's the first map of the series. It's a map pick of FaZe. And we're getting into the action. Yes, we are indeed. And uh, good news for everyone watching. You've all got front row seats. That's the beauty of online. You know, like we're all just sat here enjoying a nice game of Counter-Strike. And look who we got in the server. We got a bunch of legends on either side. It's going to be Nico and Brokey setting up utility to facilitate this B play. Perfecto. He gets that information. And this man, he knows that his pistol impact is normally through the roof. So he decides, I'm not going to stick around in the site. We're going to set up for a retake in this five on five. And so the bomb plant comes in for phase. Perfecto's got himself a smoke and a kit. So this is, could prove to be pretty damn useful to Na'Vi in this retake. Everyone's here now. Everyone's knocking on the door of the B-bomb site, but it seems like nobody's home. All the lights are off, but they can hear Nico mulling around in the kitchen. So, you know, there's definitely some signs of life here in the bomb site, and Na'Vi are going to try and get on in. However, Rain and Brokey put down two. Simple, fast on his feet, alongside Electronic. Oh, they're going to find four kills between the two of them. And wow. Cold gets dropped as well. Defuse is going to come on through for Na'Vi. And already, Simple and Electronic off to a good start. That's a good sign for Na'Vi fans all around the the world. Yeah, you don't often see 5v5 retaking a pistol in the B bomb site of this map. So Navi by design. I want to mention as well, Electronic and Boomage is looking for a second, like a five man market rotation. And that would have been a mess for Navi. So Electronic and Boomage make the jump up cat from window. And if they miss that, that adds like another five, maybe six, seven seconds onto the clock uh, in the favor of phase. And that bomb was very low as well. So big jumps hit by those two as sped up the retake for Navi. And now they're speeding up middle. Simple, taking fights and taking names. Nico has been removed from the game and Navi can just fall back with that advantage if they want. It's not like FaZe are pressuring them all too much. One of these people's going to take a bit of a peek and oh, Simple really continues that spray to the best of his ability. Does a lot of damage and it's going to have to be finished off by his teammates. No problem to do so. And uh, just two kills away from the anti-eco getting cleaned up. Yeah, Brokey and his Deagle, not going to be able to do anything here. Also, you know, we just have Brokey up top by the uh, by the, the the rubbish bin that's up there, or or the or or the garbage. I don't know. Depends yeah. where you're from, right? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but yeah, let's have a moment of silence for yeah. that man. Oh, Everyone. R.I.P. to yeah. the dumpster boost. I don't know if, I, you know, we didn't see it a lot, Harry, but it's something that me and you, we, we love to do. Uh, you drop yeah. that smoke. Do you ever play Mirage in. against us? It won't happen because we never queue this garbage map. But Especially if you ever do, that. yeah, yeah, you would have seen us up there all the time. Now, Brokey, we're going to see him up in uh, up in a Ooh. palace of his own making. But Simple decides that he's actually the fresh prince of this A-bomb site. And he taps Brokey out of the round. That's even an AWP upgrade now that's up in the uh, up in the palace that Simple could look to get his hands on and phase. They're going to set up with three players, the remaining three players, outside of this B-bomb site. But to get in, you got to get past Perfecto. Yeah, and I don't think they're going to be grabbing that AWP anytime soon. Navi will need to run back towards B to help their teammate. He is on an island, and he can't even put up a, put up a kill. BMAS with a crucial entry here for the side of FaZe. It's equal things up. It's set them up. And Simple's actually pushed Palace from CT to get the AWP. He's scoping Catwalk right now, but FaZe are still in the site together grouped up, congregated, and waiting for Na'Vi to come their way. And Na'Vi certainly won't. They're waiting for the plant before they want to make a move. Let's try and figure out where FaZe are. Now they've got some info. Guaranteed two on the bomb site with that grenade going out and a boost up for Nico. This could catch players off guard. But that smoke in the in the doorway, that's where Nico is playing for. And it's been smoked off. They've got to take the window. Nico's position has got a whole lot better. And he could swing off the back of it. But Flamey's dealt with him and followed up. Flamey coming alive and leaving BMAS in a clutch in round number three against it's Na'Vi, it's not easy. He's taken two, but the wide swing gets traded and Na'Vi will get the retake. Nice work from them. FaZe do stall the plant. They try and play together, but a couple of missed shots and Flamey popping off will put Na'Vi back in the lead. Yeah, the loss bonus with the bomb plant at least means that FaZe, they, they could buy here if they want to. And well, they want to, so they're going to buy here. That's funny how that works, right? They get rifles out across the board, and they're going to have plenty of utility behind it as well. They're setting up over here towards A, and this might just be a nice little set piece into the A bomb site with uh, 
Nico throwing his utility down into mid, but there's a gap in this smoke and you can't afford to leave gaps when you've got Simple waiting on the other side. They is going to start to get out into this A bomb site and they actually play at contact. They just rush on in. Now they throw these smokes late. And I like that decision. It never really telegraphs that this play is coming through. BMAS and Rain are able to get two kills between them. And Simple now back here in CT spawn with the AWP in the retake looking for a kill. The flash rains on in. No kills found on the back of it, but they keep these players out of CT. And for Na'Vi now in a three on four like this, if a kill doesn't present itself soon, they might just be saving. Yeah, they're going to give it a look in though. The money is not good for Na'Vi. So yeah, actually just bailing, interestingly enough, not even going to send a player into the site. And they know that, you know, even losing one dude here is going to cost them their buy round in the follow up. So yeah, you know, too many teams in that situation will push in and uh, will go for a kill and they'll lose it, and then they'll save with two. And, uh, you know, it makes sense as to why you'd want to give it a look in, give it a go, but at the end of the day, if you lose one player, you're not going to be able to buy it. And so this is the right call. And, I mean, even then, simple, he can drop a gun, but no one else can, not not an M4 at least. It's going to be Na'Vi need to do some accounting. As FaZe get their first T-side round, a nice contact A burst. But you know Na'Vi are going to be ready for that, so FaZe, they've got to switch it up. They've got to go elsewhere here, as Molotovs will be present. So once again, FaZe is setting up outside of this B bomb site, but the difference maker this time around is that Electronic is over in the ladder room. He's available for a very, very fast rotate, and that's going to be needed with Flamey falling at the first hurdle. Electronic does get one, and Boomich even best rain on this lurk in the connector. So this leaves Cold and Nico over at the B site. However, Cold Zero, we know this man at B site Mirage is able to get away with a hell of a lot. And this round is no different. He's got it down from a 1v2 into the 1v1 and just wow. Boomich left to find Cold Zero with the 3k. Locks down the round for FaZe and Cold Zero at B. That's not something I, uh, I like the sound of if I was on the FaZe side or rather, no, hang on, the RV side. <laughs> I think FaZe like I that think, very I much. I think FaZe like the sound of it. Ooh, they like the sound all right. Ooh. <laughs> ah, my voice doesn't, apparently. Like, I'm <laughs> physically trembling, Hugo. Oh, well, uh, Harry, that's what 80 broadcast days will do to you. Whoop. Oh, Words now. Very difficult. Shots even harder, uh, especially for Na'Vi, who only have pistols. It's going to have to be a bit of armor on Perfecto, elsewhere, nothing else. And FaZe is just going to go back to A, right? Not not so contact this time. Util will come through that close molly to clear out for Nico. If anything, stalls out his aggression, but he can go with a flashbang, blinding uh, Boomich and getting that entry kill. Trades are good here for FaZe. They are losing a couple, which really shouldn't happen, but I think from this point on, they should be fine to clean up the round. Na'Vi have nothing. They have no position. They're being forced back with utility. Finally, the smokes have faded, but that's only going to give ways for FaZe to fight you back. Yeah, it's not gone well. But, you know, you weren't expecting much. It's mostly USPs in this round. Perfecto and his eagle not able to offer anything up. It's Nico with four. What? His first four in the game, all in that one round there, as he takes a third on the board at four phase. Nico with a nice little stat pad round. Good shots though, and I mean, you know, they're not like super important kills, but that could have been lost by FaZe, absolutely in the three on three. That definitely could have gotten out of control. So Nico often just making sure that doesn't happen, keeping that Antico in FaZe's hand. It's often down to rain, but uh, well, anyone could do it. And Na'Vi, they're going to tend to it now with a buy. Orb out for Simple. He's fighting Connector. No one's seen him just yet, but they are trying to move through middle with that flashbang. Simple getting brutalized by the grenades. Down to 50. And they're close mid as well, so we can't see them from this position. He's going to back on out. Boomish is close towards the ramp, and he might need to watch out because not only cold in the flower pot. Oh, there's flashing. Cold's blind and he gives away his position. If he didn't shoot, Boomich wouldn't check that spot. Might have gotten away. Now that flash is good as well from Flamey. Electronic poised for a kill and Na'Vi great team play right now. They forced two advantages with just $400 of flashbangs.
Yeah, one by one. They're just continuing to extend this as well. It's all left on to Brokey and Nico. And a two on five. They're going to struggle to turn this one around, especially because Na'Vi, look at what they've done. They've just retreated back into these bomb sites and they're not they're not in a position where they need to peek anything. Nico attempts the window jump, but fluffs it a little bit. He's going to give it another go, this time with Brokey flashing for him. Missed shot from Simple, gets Nico into the window. But they know he's here. And so Nico is trapped in a cage of his own making. That Molotov is going to force Simple out of the uh, out of the window room. Brokey gets up Con in the meantime and does delete Boomich. However, there's players wrapping around through short. Brokey is also trapped now in the connector. And Nico's been given a little bit of room to maneuver, but it's not really much to write home about. They spot him. They'll deal with him. Electronic takes down four in this round. And Na'Vi, they'll put a fourth on the board. Yeah, Nico does nothing there really, but I, it's, it's super impressive how he gets out of that one, right? He gets into window, he gets spotted. He then throws a molly and jumps out of the window with that Molotov. He jumps to the left, avoiding electronic and simple looking at his position. And he doesn't jump out the window to the ground. He jumps to the ledge, allowing him to get back in the window a second later and come behind uh, Na'Vi. Of course, he doesn't do anything, but... You know, he just stays alive for a good bit of time. And Electronic, four kills from him, right? Great work, just standing behind Simple wherever he goes with that orb and just supporting. So, FaZe, now broke. Nothing. I like this boost. Oh, I don't like this boost. <laughs> it's unfortunate. It's good for peeking window without like boosting inside of the window. You're just going for fights on that one. And Cold had a deagle, but had being the keyword. Phase is just hoping to do some damage at this point, right? 2v5, they can't really win this round, but maybe they can they can deal with a player or two. And Simple is quite the man to deal with. That's an AWP dropped. Going to give you a bit of a way to get into this A-bomb site now, but Electronic is being very, very patient here at Jungle. And Flamey comes in on the rotation. It gets mopped up. It's pretty cool that Simple dies over in CT for Phase because it means Na'Vi weren't able to retrieve the AWP, so Simple's got to reinvest into that. I hope we see, you know, either Flamey or Perfecto drop it over, and they do. Flamey's going to buy the AWP, drop that over to Simple. He gets utility with it. So, you know, the money just gets kind of rejiggled re around here for Na'Vi, and everything's all fine. Reinvestment back in at the phase, and the AWP going to be in the hands of Brokey. Lots of mid pressure here from the phase side and a missed shot from Simple. With a player aggressive down through this short smoke, Simple is trapped and does get shut down by BMAS early on. Ooh, Electronic's going to try and go through this smoke and BMAS will deliver a second kill in the round. So he puts phase off to a flying start here. Attempted aggression from Boomich in an effort to just regain some map control. Further extends this advantage in favor of phase. Yeah, we're going to need to see some switch-ups from Na'Vi early. I think FaZe have just had the read here. Na'Vi have run some very similar rounds in the past few with Simple constantly going for that connector peak at the spawn. Uh, Boomich pushing ramp. He's been in that position pretty much every round this game. And Electronic going through the cat smoke. Well, not really to blame. We've not had a lot of mid-control from FaZe. He tries his hand at it, at it and yeah, gets punished. And at that point, it's just dug Na'Vi a hole. It's going to be FaZe five on two. Surely no way they can lose this. And they're taking the bomb to A as well. Na'Vi have gambled B, so this will be them saving, or trying to save at least. FaZe, when the the penny drops, when that realization hits, do they go for the hunt? Because it's not like FaZe have any money, it's not like FaZe have many rounds, and so they might just want to keep their economy alive as well. Give Na'Vi the benefit of the doubt, but we'll see. Sending one player out, you know, unleashing the hound that is BMAS with two already. Not, not a bad idea by any means. Nico's going to go looking, BMAS goes under, and FaZe fan out to make sure they check everywhere.
I think that's the right call for phase, right? Keeping five alive. You want your money. And you want something to fall back on, right? Because you know Navi are buying with those saves as well. So if they get this round win phase, they actually have a buy in the follow up. They actually have a chance to compete and not just roll over and die the second Navi start to string rounds together. A sole round from phase. Will anything be found around it? I'm really liking that for uh, for Na'Vi, we, we have like the, the duo of Simple and Electronic just feeling like they're back, you know, and that's a that's a nice feeling. Uh, back back up that Perfecto point. 1.13 rating in pistol rounds with a 1.03 rating overall. Yeah, man, pistol rounds seem to be this guy's bread and butter. He's, uh, he's always great in them. Like yesterday, I think we saw him in, in overpass. He got two triple kills in both the pistols before that on mirage i think he got two double kills so like yeah he's just so comfortable in them uh now though you know these pistol stats are all well and good it allows navi to get off to these good starts but phase are keeping this competitive and this is exactly what we wanted from this series we wanted a nice close affair and that's what we're looking to get delivered here that molly just goes past the smoke as well so phase they can even smoke that molly again and make sure that navi aren't running any one ways in con try and take this mid control they seem a little bit preoccupied with it a little scared of it perhaps another molly smoke combo really just making sure it's clear and i respect it from phase right you may as well use the util you may as well get value out of it and now you know that that area is yours flamey does he know that nico's cross past the smoke oh he does he's got the shot off and navi can back off with an advantage again they're so good at turtling when they get this kill. You can see Flamey's given up mid. He's playing for the apps cross with Perfecto. Boomich is still dangerously close on Ramp, man. I think FaZe might be ready for this one. They've dealt with him a lot here before. He has gotten kills from this position. But yeah, unless FaZe go through that smoke, that's what Boomich is hoping for, right? He's, he wants to watch a smoke for a pot play and hope that FaZe consider the site and not the close corner. But once that smoke Ooh. fades, he's going to be stuck between a rock and a hard place. Also, Hugo, while all this has gone on, BMAS threw some utility Ooh. into the B bomb site. What? And oh, Boomich going aggressive. He needed to get away with a the lot there. And the fact that he gets that one kill, he spots the bomb as well. And tags Brokey down low. Simple's going to deal with Cold Zera and Na'Vi. But for a moment, they almost they almost made the wrong call. They almost rotated to B on the back of BMAS's utility going into the site. That's where uh, Boomich, not just getting away with the kill, but spotting the bomb, just locks that round in yeah. for Na'Vi. The rotation comes back through in time. They deal with cold. And the moment that ends up falling to the two on what? Two on four, two on three rather. Uh, it just grinds to a halt for FaZe. And they, they can't even commit. So they save. They hold on to the AWP of, of Brokey. And BMAS is able to stay alive as well. So it at least gives them a buy into this round. A little bit more to work with on the back of keeping that AWP in play. But yeah, Na'Vi are just being very frustrating right now. You use the word turtling. That's exactly what they're doing, right? They'll strike this first round off the tally, and then they just hide. They don't give anything up, and they're doing a great job at exactly that. Now, this mid control is something that FaZe have attempted a hell of a lot, and, and not really to the best of results. This round, they're going to go back to it. And Na'Vi just aren't going to give them this fight. Yeah, it makes sense as to why Na'Vi lent B in the previous round after that util, right? Because FaZe haven't really gone for any B play since the start of the map. So, yeah, Na'Vi, they are hankering. They're waiting for that eventual commitment. They know it's coming at one point or another. FaZe, though, still pressuring connected towards A. The bomb is top mid. It can go anywhere, but they have a lurk in the palace in the form of Cold, trying to find his timing. Simple, he hit a mad shot on Cold last round coming out of palace with no jingle, no reaction, just a first peek, and he's going for it again. Two from Simple. Is he ready for Cold? No. He's going to drop to that lurk, running through a smoke. FaZe have found themselves a man advantage and the A site. Play me in perfecto. If they deal with BMAS, maybe they go for this. And they do find him. So now this two on two is given over. Flash out to allow perfecto a bit of ground in through jungle. Nico's going for the long old rotate in towards mid. He is going around the world right now. And he does have this AWP as well. This gives the temporary 2v1 to Na'Vi in this bomb site. But Cold, if he's able to just overstay his welcome, if he just stays alive, Nico's flank can find success. 
And Flamey falls as well. FaZe, they'll get that round. They take a fifth. Yeah, really well played from Cold there as well, right? Like, not just the swing out, out Palace through the smoke, a very risky play, but one that needed to happen. And, you know, one that he could have lost as well, right? If he dies to Simple, if Simple realizes that's coming through and scopes up, Na'Vi probably win the round. But Cold, he gets the kill, he clears the site, phase smoke Na'Vi out, Cold hides, and then you put it right, like, he, he just needs to stay alive. Nico is, is making the long rotation. He can be the first point of contact as long as Cold just hides and stalls out that first bomb tap. He wants Na'Vi to get, get in his leg as they possibly can so good round from him and Nico and now they've broken Na'Vi for the first time we have an eco on this CT side Rain is going to get deeped but he won't get finished off Perfecto looking to do the job we have phase hitting B and this is the right round for it obviously it's risky with with Na'Vi having potentially gamble stacked the B site it's pretty common but in this case they didn't and this eco round is is the right round for phase to get rid of the pistols they still have a dangerous one though. Three on three and low HP on Nico with simple picking up an AK. If he chooses not to save, the phase have to be very careful, but that's a big kill. Ooh, this nade. Whoa. Find even more damage onto these players in the bomb site. Electronic and simple, the two players left, but these are the two players you would want. Simple, not ready for BMAS, still hidden inside. And Nico's gonna swing on out. They just triple peak the last man. Six on the board for FaZe. And yeah, that gets a little bit scary for a moment. They're able to come in swinging and lock down the site. That kill from Brokey on the AWP that turns it from a three on three into the three on two really does make all the difference there. You know, with everyone being kind of low, those deagles were, were within like the one shot kill range. So that almost gets out of hand. Simple's got this all back in play, and Flamey is also donning one in this round. He's taking it over towards Catwalk. There's a bit of ramp aggression from Boomich and Co. in this oh. round. Brokey missed shot, and quite the shot to miss. It's given up an early advantage to Na'Vi. The worst part about that is Boomich hit the Molotov, not Electronic. And so, you know, I think for, for Brokey there, he wants to peak a tighter angle. He thinks he knows where Boomich is, but he actually just never knows that he's even in that position. He only sees Electronic. And so it's not like he has info to give his team or oh, a double ramp setup or, or even getting away with a kill. That really sucks for Brokey. And uh, Flamey's even followed up dropping BMAS into the B bomb site or the apartments rather. So huge advantages for Na'Vi early on in this round. The two young guns uh, for phase has been removed and now it's up to the old guard electronic guarding the site it's going to be rain with a train moving into a boom it's jumping and that is optimistic at best rain does not miss those shots and now him and cold have to convert this two on five. Oh, and it just got even harder simple nailing rain and here's the uh the sad part is it's like even though cold has like a, a bit of a bit of room to maneuver there and they get it down to that two on three the bomb was still back in top mid and so for phase they needed to win a few of those gunfights and then you know look to get that bomb and that just never happens they're kind of you know up up the creek without a paddle as it were Nice shots from Raid and Boomich yeah. maybe being a bit optimistic there. That's what we'll call it. He's a very aggressive player. Like he makes a lot of risks, and and sometimes you know it's, it's similar to like uh, art in a sense that you like you don't know the direct impact of the risk, but Navi with the round off of the back of it. So yeah, yeah, Boomich he, he's a he's an exciting player. We'll put it that way. Flamey he's not excited by this B rush and that all overwhelmed. The gun dropped. Perfecto has to find something here. Electronics coming swinging, and he's found himself another. The AWP in the hands of Rain, but not the weapon he's used to playing. And he's tucked tight. Does hit the shot through the wall. Now a chance for FaZe. He throws it over to Cold here, buddy. You try. You try. I've got the bomb. So Rain, if he can try and plant, that'd be nice. But he doesn't want to rush it and get rushed down by Na'Vi. They could be in the site, right? That smoke has provided a veil, an opportunity for Na'Vi to get out the door, but they haven't taken it. Oh, simple. He's not waiting around. He's actually gone into the site out through the window. He hears this bomb going down, but he oh. can't quite find the shot onto Rain. And this has given up the aim of the game for Simple. Rain's actually going to go on a bit of an aggressive mission of his own. And they're back to back. Oh, Rain in the back line. And Cold wins out the fight onto Boomage. That's a nice little round there from Rain and Cold inside of B. Seven on the board for FaZe. And as we approach the last round of this first half of play, 
we are all tied up. We wanted yeah. a close series, and that is exactly what we are getting delivered. And as good as you know, going B on an anti-eco is, well, so is going B on an eco phase. They managed to get guns, and that's the danger with B side players, right? If you, your anchor doesn't get like a double, two or three kills, and even though they do in that round, Electronics does a lot of work with Perfecto uh, phase. They just retrieve guns and they sit back and wait. And having an AWP in the post pawn is so valuable uh, when you're on an eco round like that. It could be the difference between just getting swept and taking the round away. So Na'Vi are now broke in the last of the half. And this has gone from Na'Vi being into control, in control to FaZe likely winning out the half here. Na'Vi are going to need to do a lot with not a lot. Two Famuses and pistols around it. FaZe have full control over the middle. It's not like Na'Vi have the utility to contest. We've seen good flashes from them in the past. But right now, uh, yeah, one left in this round. This is everything FaZe needed and more. They're going to group and I think by the looks of things, try and split B. Na'Vi are leaning A with three. So this is the right call for FaZe. Yeah, Perfecto is aggressive in the apps. And here's the thing, like if Na'Vi are able to get one kill on each of these B players, then maybe there's a chance. And Flamey's lived up to his side of the deal. However, Perfecto does get bested without a kill up in the apartment. So Na'Vi are a man down in this retake. They're in a three on four at this B bomb site. And now with Brokey even recovering an AWP over here towards short side, he's picked that one up off the ground. He's looking over here at short and there is electronic coming his way. Boomich and simple grouped up together over here in the market boomich creeping Ooh. in gonna catch cold looking the wrong way nico now swings on out deals with simple and follows up so this leaves electronic all alone deals with the first man at cat knows that nico's at bench but no duel is being offered up to him with nine bullets left ammo is a bit of a problem for electronic he's got to nail these shots b match just peeks on out from the Oh, hi there. Sorry, didn't see you come in. Uh, yeah, so you've caught me in the middle of something here. It's a little thing called Na'Vi versus FaZe. And FaZe, they're in the lead, but just about. For any numbers fans out there, you'll note that eight isn't too much bigger than seven. And so, yeah, Hugo, there's that famous thing about seven eating nine or whatever it is. Let's see uh, if uh, Na'Vi have got an appetite for this eighth round of their own. I don't know how those link together. It's kind of tenuous at best. You've done well, Harry. You've done well. Uh, yeah. Let's see if Na'Vi can do better. They certainly need to. Still a good first half, right? This game has been very T-sided. Not not this match, but just Counter-Strike, right? So I don't put it past Na'Vi to be able to still call this one back. Boomich and Connector fast. USPs are good, and their double setup on the triple. Rain doesn't want to shoot his teammate in the face, so he will wrap around the site, dropping another under the balk with the bomb. And Rain has just made this one happen, as he often does in the pistol rounds. We talk about Perfecto. Well, here's Rain, and he's raining down death. It's nine rounds up for FaZe. They will take a pistol pistol round in this series and um, well Na'Vi they went 3-0 up on their CT side pistol before FaZe got around let's see if FaZe can do the same Oh, the flash is good as well. Boomich was full blind as he leaps across into mid. Boomich is like the play style of a gazelle. That's what he reminds <laughs> me of. One, he just yeah. like, just kind of runs around, hopping, bounding, having a good time. But these hunters, man, they're out in full force on the phase side. And Cold is taking it to whole new extreme. Perfecto, I'm going to have the most... Perfect of rounds. He gets caught up in the apartments by Bmas, and so phase they reach double digits, ten to seven now. And now oh, they they ecoed in that once. They've got the buy coming. They're feeling good. Well, maybe they're not. I don't. I don't really know. I don't really have like the read there. I'm just guessing. Well, let's hope they're feeling good, happy. Well wishes to both rosters as we get into this rifle yeah. round. This is a <laughs> crucial one. Simple's got no util, and it's going to be a faster play towards the B site. Electronic trying to lurk up Catwalk, but he's being watched by Nico and Con. Good grenades. Perfecto's getting bullied a bit. He is having a rough game right now. Bmas pushed up. Perfecto. Oh, the flash is good. That's so nice for a phase. Off of play. Bmas, no! Leave him alone! He's churning them up. Oh the pistol's goodness. out, and Bmas is just making Na'Vi look like fools in the apartments that is that's excellent bmas clinging to the right wall not getting spotted by the swing the flash hits the perfect timing 
couldn't have it any other way. <laughs> yeah, I'd pause after that one too, Darby. Yeah, I don't even, like, you can't even imagine what's being said here. Yeah. That pause wonder... comes in, and then you just hear a lengthy old sigh. <sighs> All right, guys. So, what went wrong there? What happened? Yeah, I want to know. FaZe had a deep app smoke. Na'Vi wanted to go quick towards B. That's why they pushed through it, right? Think of, think of Electronic. He's up cap very quickly in that round. The idea is pace for Na'Vi, and that's why they felt the need to go through the smoke. I, I wonder if that was a, a smoke thrown from Car, or more likely, the one that you can throw out of CT Spawn that lands deep in B. It beats the T's to it and lands in that exact position. So if Na'Vi, if FaZe threw that, Na'Vi might have looked at it and gone, <laughs> FaZe aren't going to go you know, deep with this. They just threw the smoke from Spawn. And that's probably the thought process there from Na'Vi. But boy, oh boy, did they not hit the nail on the head. I think the hammer was in the other hand. Oh, good timing for Electronic and awful timing for Nico. You know, your heart goes out to him. We've all been there. You're, you're, the, you're the con guy. You're checking top mid, you're checking lower. And the moment you look away from lower tunnels, guess where you get shot from? Lower oh, tunnels. Yeah, there you go. You're catching on, Hugo. Wow. You've, uh, you've certainly working hard. played a game of CS or two in your time. Do you say that? Most importantly, it's a gun. Uh, I wonder if Electronic will take it, because he is the only armoured player in middle. Simple is very far away. But Electronic, oh, he's not in middle. He's in T-spawn with the bomb. He's, he's up and left this place. He's given it to Perfecto. No one's lurking mid for Na'Vi. A bit of a danger. I would have loved to see someone stay connected, even if you don't use them you know, before the push with your team. Just coming in late, coming in on a timing, when the site players are distracted, can be so valuable. So... Yes, it's interesting for Na'Vi. I'd like to see how it goes, but no utility. They should just be walking into gunfire. Yeah, that molly splits the push as well, and it forces two of these players forward. The flash is very well timed from Brokey, Ooh. but Simple and Flamey, they found kills in a matter of moments. They catch Flamey crossing into the site, and this is where, you know, not having any utility, having a mid player would have helped so much, ah. because suddenly you've got someone to help out with these comp players, but that never happens. Baze are going to take that 12th, and yeah, Hugo, I mean, I, I hate agreeing with you. It's not something I do a lot, but on this instance, I got to agree. Uh, I think if you've got if you've got even one smoke in this round, I think you can justify having all five players coming from Ramp Palace, but you, you don't if you're Na'Vi. And so that means that when it, when it comes down to having a cross into the site, it's, you're going to have a very, very rough time even surviving the journey. And well, what worth, do you know? They didn't survive the journey. Yeah, worth noting, Cold and BMAS, they come from con to, to, uh, from short to con to, to A there, right? They, they rotate jungle side. So if you have a mid player hiding bench, not even like flanking, just hiding bench, hiding lower mid, they're going to hear those rotations and they're going to probably stop those rotations as well. So yeah, I don't know. Weird one. It's, it's only an eco, though, so you don't need to look at it too deeply. Na'Vi just wanted to play that trade game, and they did get some good entries up on that A site. Unfortunately, all in vain. Simple's back on the orc. This is something we've been waiting to see, but we've got two in the hands of FaZe now. Nico's donned one behind Brokey towards the connector. We've got a solo B setup. B Mass on his own. That's a tough task, but he has looked good so far today. I will say for BMAS, it feels like for a young player, hes I never see him overfacing. I never see him committing to something that he, he shouldn't. And he seems to you know, know when he can get away with things. Now on the site alone, he's getting dealt a fast play. Boomich with a trade. BMAS can't get more than one. And FaZe, oh damn, are they just going to save? They set up so ready for an A execute. They had four players in the site and they are too far away to even consider this one. It's going to be a four-man save for FaZe. That is not what they wanted. A gamble stack going the wrong way. If BMAS gets two, FaZe go for it. But unfortunately, one, Harry. One is not two. No, critically, it's not, right? And imagine the chaos if it were. You know, you think know. so many of our systems, man, are built around the idea of one being one, zero being zero. And that combination of numbers being other things. I think you should quit while you're behind, Harry. That is the old saying, you know, quit while you're behind <laughs> before you fall even further behind. <laughs> that may be the, the case for FaZe, or for Na'Vi, rather. 
Sorry, what did you want to say, Harry? Take it away. Wow, thanks, man. Uh, I mean, this is a lot of pressure to put on me. Um, but right now, if I had to say anything, I'd say that Na'Vi, they're still in with a chance of pulling this game back, right? There's four rounds between them and FaZe, and we're getting a, a good performance still out of Simple and Electronic. Flamey's up there as well. Want to see a little bit more from Perfecto. We were singing his praises coming into this series, and he has been struggling. It's been a pretty slow start Ooh. from him. And for Nico and Brokey, this double orb setup that's ringing on out finds two kills out of the gate. So that is huge for FaZe. They put this double orb save to good use. Yeah, the, you know, the, the reason we see that, okay, so think about how when a team will pause and they'll go on like two or three pauses and then they'll B rush. FaZe just did the reverse of that on the CT side. They know that Na'Vi have gone over their game plan. They know that Na'Vi have figured out what they want to do and Na'Vi aren't going to be expecting an aggressive phase. So you have one player push Palace with an orb. You have one player push under from Connector with an orb and uh, Na'Vi lose two players in positions that they think they're safe in. They think, you know, they just got to and, uh, you know, FaZe will take them down. So whatever game plan Na'Vi have for this round, gets completely uprooted in the opening 10 seconds. Now Na'Vi just have to kind of pug and trade their way back into A. It's not a good situation. And it's a great call from FaZe to throw in those two aggressive orbs. Both of them getting kills as well is something that I don't think even FaZe would have expected. But they will be more than happy sitting back and waiting for Na'Vi to come their way. Ooh, Simple's gonna win that. He's further from the angle, so he gets the spot first. Cold now, burnt out of jungle, but they haven't checked for it, and Cold's is gonna take one down before his time draws to a close. Now, Raid down here at ramp, trying to be a little bit cheeky. There's also a man going by the name of Nico, who we uh, we know a thing or two about. He's back here in CT, and he's dealt with Perfecto on the push. Boomix is now all alone, and Rain coming out from ramp. Here's a little nasty surprise. Phase 13 on the board and reinvestment through for Na'Vi. They're going to be able to buy back up into this round. However, this uh, this double orb presence, it, it's really showing its value for Phase out of the yeah. gate. And now what, what's, what's the Na'Vi game plan to try and deal with it, right? You get the information that there's two orbs in play and that at least gives you a little bit more info to work with. That was like your first time running into it for Na'Vi. Oh, that's a lot of damage from Nico in through the mid smoke. And he's not done with that little bit of chip damage. He's still here. Goes blow for blow with electronic. And Nico's come out massively favored here. He's brought two players down to the one shot kill realm. Cold's got aggressive into the apartments. And Perfecto baits the shot out of him. But Apps is under lock and key right now for FaZe. They're even sending BMAS aggressive. And this is great for FaZe because once BMAS gets this aggressive position in the apartments, we've seen what he can do from here already. Uh, it also allows this AWP of Cold to take up a position elsewhere. And he doesn't even really have to still be at this B bomb site. He holds down short for a little bit because FaZe haven't had any mid info for a while. But eventually, once this mid smoke fades, I imagine we're going to see Nico take a little peek just to see if there's any players here. And if he gets the info that that's not the case, we could even see Cold begin an early rotation out of that B bomb site. Yeah, this is the value of having such strong AWPers on base clan, right? Nico doesn't need to change position, but he can give the AWP to Cold and you can keep your same setup while having, you know, the AWP rotate around the map. So Cold's on B, he's too far away, but here's a triple play for FaZe. Nice entry. Flamey's is so good at finding kills out the palace, but Nico responds from CT spawn. His teammate blocked in to the corner, and now Nico is too trapped by the flames. Oh no, they're gonna spread, and he's so blind, Harry. He couldn't even see if he wanted to get away. And well, Nico, in the final seconds of that Molotov will perish. And give Na'Vi a round. Nice A execute. And I agree with you. Yeah, I would have loved to see that gamble from FaZe Clan moving cold to uh, to to A. Th the reason I think it's weird that FaZe don't do that is, like you said, Nico is going to spot mid in that, you know, midpoint where Na'Vi was setting up the A play. Nico gets flashed in from CT. He sees mid. He jumps under. He sees nothing. He doesn't see a single player. Yet Cold is still in B watching Short. But FaZe have the info that Short is covered and clear. And even though Nico leaves that position, I definitely feel like a rotate would have would have made all the difference there. I, uh, on the other side of the page, right? Cold probably doesn't want to do that because think about how last time FaZe set up four on A with BMAS solo B and BMAS gets one kill and then FaZe have to save because BMAS only gets one kill, right? FaZe don't want that to happen again. They don't want to get faked out. And so you can see why they don't go for it, but it does cost them the round once again. Nice spam from Electronic as well through CT. And yeah, Na'Vi, like you said, don't count them out. While being down in this scoreline, they are 
certainly able to get back in control here. So work cut out for Na'Vi right now. Phase up to 13. Still with money to fall back on here after that save. Oh dear. Right, so here's something. Here's something for you folks watching at home. If this little, and you probably know this, but if this little timer appears at the top and there's no color ticking away in it, then that means it's a tech pause. And what do we all know about tech pauses? Well, it's a, they crop up every now and again, and they're never fun. So we're gonna wait and see what, what's going on and who's got the problem. Hopefully, it shouldn't take too long to resolve. It was ping issues earlier prior to the game, so maybe... Oh, there's a crash this time. Okay, cool. That's that's at least better. That at least means hopefully we'll be able to just restart and get back in. But um, Who's the unlucky camper that's crashed yeah, from the game? You want to call them out, Harry? Electronic is the man to take a quick exit. Top of his team right now. Yeah, Perfecto really is struggling though, man. He's had one kill in this half so far, and that's it. So... Hoping for a little bit more from him, moving into some of these rounds. Obviously, your Navi can use that to their advantage in the sense of sending out, sending him out first and and trading him. But I mean, look at that round. Flamey just swings out Palace and gets the the openers. So, yeah, Navi, it's not that they had problems entering. It's you know more about keeping their players alive. FaZe have been very good at forcing engagements that Navi don't want and and taking positions that Navi aren't expecting. Let's see if, once again, Harry, last time we had this long pause, phase, they peaked Palace with an orb, they peaked under with an orb, and they started the round five on three. Will Na'Vi let that happen again, or will FaZe even decide to go aggressive? Yeah, it's a pretty standard, like, default out of spawn from FaZe. They just send Brokey into the window. They've got a short and a, and a comm player to help out in mid. And so it's not going to be any of these fast pushes out of the gate. Nico going to try and take an aggressive wow. stance over here in mid, and he's able to deal with Electronic. But as he looks to get out of there, that's when a guy called Perfecto also swings out through those lower tunnels and gets rid of Nico. So we're into a four-on-four four immediately, and this is going to benefit Na'Vi for the time being. Simple. What? He was waiting the entire time for that peak, and he gets it. And while his bullet only tags Brokey for 49, by the way, that's not yeah. even like a, a significant amount of damage. Brokey's will annihilate Simple. So I think Simple moved his mouse just a little bit, like a little bit left or right into the wall. Uh, you know, maybe the peak caught him off guard. Maybe he wasn't ready for it that early. But that's you know, not an often, not a not a consistent thing to see, see Simple caught off guard like that. Look at it. Even his, even the way his body's fallen, it's all just a very sad tale. Simple's gone. And now this round, with Simple and Electronic both removed, falls to the rest of Na'Vi to try and make a difference. Brokey's taken down another. His hold of this B site has been stellar. And then he's got Cold over at short to swing on in and help him as they try and close the distance. Speaking of closing the distance, that's exactly what FaZe are doing. They're approaching map point here on their map pig. Yeah, you see I, that yeah I, so shake, I tell you what, uh, man, I, we've, simple shake. we've seen the, I, I, you know, just seeing it back, I, I don't know how, regardless of simple, even if no. he did tag through the wall, I don't know how Brokey's was a, was a guaranteed killing blow and simple's did so little damage. Well, Bro well Brokey wouldn't have wallbanged him. In order for that damage to happen, simple had to wallbang him and Brokey just hit the shot, right? Like, yeah, Brokey's was a wallbang. It even said in the kill feed. Was it? Okay, I'm, yeah. now, now I'm done, Harry. Now, now I'm out of answers. I guess he just clipped him through the corner. Simple shot him through a larger part man. of the wall. I don't know, That's man. Dark. Nothing makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But this is a great game from FaZe, right? Like, of course, Navi are getting outplayed in a lot of these rounds. And as the analyst said, this this best of three, these maps, they favor FaZe significantly. So there's a world where we have a 2-0 for FaZe Clan as crazy as that may seem but you can see Na'Vi don't want to let go of the baton electronic with another entry out of palace and we have flamey and simple coming through the ramp it's going to be phase saving here on the b bomb site nothing to do with this round and you can already see perfecto is hunting i like this right moving out of this position and going elsewhere trying to catch phase get aggressive he certainly might come into contact with them here in the halls but is he ready for both Ooh. He gets the information that the second man is here. And look at this, man. Na'Vi, now they know. They're like, well, b isn't going for it, is he? He's trying to save. And we know where he is. 
Ooh, we want this kill. And simple. Ooh, he's waiting. Look at it. He's waiting. There we go. Vmast is going to give it over. Simple with two in the round. Now V10 on the board as they keep their dream alive here. They don't give over that match point two phase. And, and with that round going their way, they, they've put this CT money in a bit of an awkward spot. There's some players with lots of cash and there's others with not very much. Oh, and now V going to call in the pause as well. Yeah, maybe trying to ascertain the money, trying to figure out what FaZe have, because remember, that was attempted to be a save for FaZe that would have allowed a buy, but they get out with no one alive. So, yeah, I mean, FaZe, they, they could use this pause too, but uh, it is going to be only an eco, and Na'Vi have no problem with that. Another, essentially, free round, hopefully, uh, <laughs> for Na'Vi to deal with. See Nico wins, though. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, this this game heating up. You know, when we've seen this game before, we, we've had it, I think, four times so far in 2020, and all four times, it's gone three maps, and all four times, Na'Vi have won in the third map. So it's often FaZe actually winning the opening map of the series and then losing the series. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. But uh, we'll see if today is a different story for FaZe. Right now, they are holding a lead on their pick. Only by four. Simple's moving very fast on Cat 2. Oh dear. And I hope that what we keep seeing from Na'Vi is 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 what we're seeing right now, which is just this kind of four players grouped up, leaving one man in this lurk role, which I think a lot of the time it's maybe fair to put that onto Perfecto. He's not having like the best of games, as we've kind of said, and that's usually where we can find him, like, you know, apart from the rest of the pack. Um, and, and I think one of the benefits to this is that with FaZe consistently running this double orb setup, or I say consistently, like whenever they can, they're trying to run the double orb setup. Uh, it's, it, it's been great at picking players out of this early Na'Vi default whenever they've split their forces up between either site. And I think where it does have its limitations is when these fast executes come in towards bomb sites with, you know, four or five players from Na'Vi all in the same spot. If, if you're able to, to, to best the players in the site, then you know that there's going to be an AWP left in the retake in, in some, you know, like 2v3, 2vx scenario. Um, and that's exactly what you want to be doing if you're an RV. You want to kind of force phase to keep holding on to these AWPs. And so I like that, you know, even if you think about back to the uh, the round prior to this one as to how Na'Vi have kind of kick-started this little mini comeback later in the game, it was just on the back of, a, uh, of an A-side execute. And, you know, these are easy decisions for Na'Vi to make. They're easy things to do. Just these set pieces. And I think they're going to give you some pretty good results against the double off the phase. Because where it really looks strong is where you've had players like, you know, you, you, Nico's taking those peaks over towards mid or, or Cole donning it right with the apps peaks. Brokey even having his time to shine over there every now and again, just switching it up. But, but the orbs have been good at delivering these early kills. Whenever we've seen Na'Vi spread out and try and take an early default, they just haven't been able to get these openers in the same way that FaZe have. And this round, FaZe actually don't go for the double orb setup. They've only got one on Brokey. Yeah, I think it's a good change, right? You know, the double orbs, they worked, but now Na'Vi know what you're doing. And so a bit of a switch up for FaZe Clan, where they still actually have the, the weapon available. Brokey's actually going to move to CT as well. So we got some changes here for FaZe Clan. It's nice to see Vmas alone on B again. Has been a problem in the past, but also both ways, right? We've seen FaZe overstack the site. So Cold is actually assisting middle. I like this change as he can ro rotate very fast to B as Bmas has the information ahead of time because of his position at car. So Bmas can call for Cold. He can be let off the leash and can run right back and help if needed. But right now, what's needed is FaZe to deal with this mid control. Navi are all over it. That Molly's going to push Cold down the ladder, but he's actually moved just, uh, just preemptively just before it. Good escape. Oh dear, there's another Molotov and Cold is playing with fire and behind the smoke. It's going to fade in the next 10 seconds, so he needs to get out of there alive. And Brokey walking into a setup where they're looking at him. Nice shot. Still on this A site now. This split for Na'Vi is getting caught out. Flamey, if he can find a kill here, it can make all the difference. 
Yeah, Brokey is back though, looking over into the uh, the palace with this orb from CT. And RV are going to start to work catwalk now to get into B. You got to get past Cold Zera and Simple will deliver that kill. But RV are going to head back into the A site. And this is where two players reside for phase. Brokey waiting, 20 seconds. Navi have got to go soon. They like these late rounds, but they've got to clear rain. That's a big kill for Flamey. He's nailed that every time he's gone for it. Brokey will trade, and now he needs the wallbang shot. He wants to win this round here and now. He can't get it. Simple with the plant and the jump. You don't want to do that against Simple. You will get caught out. Brokey needs to wait for his teammate for the jump again. He's trying to get info, and he does get it, but it might come at a cost. Now BMAS moving forward. Brokey supporting from behind, and BMAS has nailed them. Both of them going down for Navi. It's FaZe with a two-on-two -two retake against Simple and Electronic. Great work. And that's phase on Matt Point on their pick here as well, Harry. Saving the double up also. Navi counting their lucky stars, they still have economy left. It's a nice feel-good round as well for Brokey and Beamast, right? Like a hot up-and-coming duo taking on the uh, well, one of the one of the best duos in Counter-Strike history in Simple and Electronic. Cole's been throwing this secondary orb. Gets over over onto short side now. Now V, they're setting up in the apartments. Beamast is here alone, but he's got Brokey on the rotation. Molly's going to find some good damage, and Beamast is repositioning. The call gets caught. Beamast has got to have a bit of a stand here, and he's getting pressured. Wow. Oh, does he answer the call? He's going to put up three, and now it's simple. And Boomich left to try and turn the tide. Two on four. Brokey here as well, and once again, it's Beamast and Brokey holding down this round for FaZe, and they just might find the map on the back of it. You've got to get past simple, and Beamast will. Four in the round.